Although many breeds have been around for hundreds or even thousands of years, some of the new dog breeds were developed by breeders within the last century or so. In this video, we have listed 10 of the newest dog breeds. Despite their newness, some of these dogs are also incredibly rare. Number 10, American Bulldog. The ancestor of the American Bulldog is the Old English Bulldog. It is believed that the Bulldog was in America as early as the 17th century, which was brought to North America by working class immigrants who wanted to keep their working dogs to help on the farms. Rather than being concerned with maintaining breed purity or certain genetic traits, early farmers bred the dogs with the best working qualities for all around farm work. The breed's agility, intelligence, and loyalty made them very helpful for handling cattle as well as hunting. Number nine, Alaskan Klikai. The words Klikai come from an Inuit term meaning small dog, which is appropriate for this breed that is a smaller version of its husky ancestors. The breed hails from Alaska, where it was developed in the 1970s and 1980s to be a companion dog rather than a working sled dog. While they look similar to Huskies, Alaskan Klikais have some obvious differences in temperament, including their wariness of strangers. While they don't care for unfamiliar faces, they are very loving family dogs, and their constant vigilance makes them good watchdogs. Alaskan Klikais adore attention from their humans and are eager to please, which makes them highly trainable. Number eight, American Bully. The exact origins of this breed are unknown, only that the American Bully, as it is now known, began development in the 1980s, with the majority of the final behavioral and aesthetic product being completed in the 1990s. The breed's development and popularity are commonly tied to the growth of the hip hop movement during this same time frame. There are three different sizes of the American Bully breed, pocket, standard, and giant. These pups are normally born in litter sizes of four to eight puppies and are known for being expensive. Number seven, Chinook. Created in the White Mountains of New Hampshire, the Chinook dog breed made its name on Admiral Byrd's first Antarctic expedition in 1928. These days, they're multi-purpose dogs who are happy hiking, competing in agility and other dog sports, pulling a sled or other conveyance. Chinooks are generally sensitive and gentle dogs with a pleasant demeanor. They're exceptionally smart and loving with their family members, including kids and other dogs. Number six, Labradoodle. The Labradoodle was originally developed in Australia to be a hypoallergenic guide dog. In 1989, Wally Conran, who was in charge of the breeding program for the Royal Guide Dogs Association of Australia, conducted the first purposeful crossbreeding between a standard poodle and a Labrador retriever. This first cross of Conran's produced a dog called Sultan, who not only had the hypoallergenic coat, but also had the aptitude, intelligence, and personality to be an effective guide dog. Sultan went on to work with the woman in Hawaii and was successful at his work. At that point, other breeders saw the merit of crossing these two breeds. Number five, Louisiana Catahoula Leopard Dog. Named for a Choctaw Indian word meaning sacred lake, the Catahoula originated in northern Louisiana near Catahoula Lake. He's probably the product of breedings between local dogs and the bloodhounds, mastiffs, and greyhounds brought to the area by Spanish explorers. They are sometimes known as Catahoula curs, Catahoula leopard curs, or Catahoula hounds. But the name was officially changed to Louisiana Catahoula leopard dog when they became the state dog of Louisiana. The Catahoula was used to track and round up the wild hogs that roamed the forest. Hence, the name hog dog that he sometimes goes by. The Louisiana Catahoula Cur Association was formed in 1976. Number four, Miniature American Shepherd. It may be a small addition to the herding group, but it's a highly motivated worker. 
In the 1960s, small-size Australian shepherds found working the U.S. rodeo circuit were selectively bred to further reduce their size. The new breed was originally called the Miniature Australian Shepherd. They became especially popular with equestrians traveling to horse shows, as their intelligence, loyalty, and size made them an excellent travel companion. For this reason, their popularity spread across the country. Number three, Puggle. The Puggle is the result of an accidental crossbreeding between a Pug and a Beagle, probably sometime in the 1990s. The breed has become very popular thanks to his novelty, sweet nature, and cute looks. There are no breed clubs for the Puggle and no efforts to make him a recognized breed. Most litters are the result of first-generation breedings between Beagles and Pugs, but there have been a few breedings of Puggles to Puggles. Number two, Shiloh Shepherd. The Shiloh Shepherd was developed in New York in the 1970s by German Shepherd enthusiast Tina Barber, and it became officially recognized as a breed in 1990. The Shiloh Shepherd has a combination of German Shepherd and Alaskan Malamute in their genetic makeup. The developer wanted to create a dog similar to the German Shepherd, but larger in size and with a softer and more gentle nature. Shiloh Shepherd coats come in a variety of colors that include black, brown, silver, gray, red, and peed. Their coats are usually a combination of two or more colors. Number one, Silken Windhound. Most attribute the breeding of the first Silken Windhound litter to Francie Stoll of Crystal Kennel, a Borzoi breeder who wanted to create a mid-sized sighthound with a long, silky coat that would be easy to groom and maintain. Stoll crossed Borzois with Whippets until the first litter of Silken Windhounds were born in 1985 in the United States, though the new breed wouldn't be officially named Silken Windhound until 1998. The next year, the International Silken Windhound Society was founded, and in 2001, they adopted a breed standard. The United Kennel Club recognized the breed in 2011. Today, silken windhounds can be found in show and performance competitions throughout the world as they grow in popularity. So that's it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Here are some other cool videos I know you'll enjoy. See you guys later.